boys. I got the cat ear headphones. My last one's broke. I don't want to see one comment about it. Look, I'm not like the other girls, all right? I don't really fit in with a lot of people in my age, and I think it's because of the neurological bullshit going on in my head. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. But I'm not medically tested or diagnosed for any type of disorder or anything like that. So, what better way than to learn why I am the way I am than to take some internet tests? Because as we all know, the best way to diagnose is by doing it yourself. I'm not doing the gay test. Stop saying the gay test. I'm not taking a gay test. Just cut it out. I'm not doing the gay test. I'm not doing the gay test. All right, how about this? How about this? If this video gets 50 likes, I'll take the gay test. Let's go. Which shape comes next in the sequence below? This one. Which shape comes next? This corner, this corner, this, the bottom, this one. Yep. This is so easy. I used to play so much IQ ball back in, uh, elementary school. Dude, they called, they called me the IQ kid. They called me Mr. IQ. Which shape comes next in this? Oh, f down this corner, down this corner. Hey, okay, first section, mad easy. Not gonna lie. I don't really know how that helped me at all, but we're gonna continue. Aw, oh, shit. At the end of a business meeting, four people exchange business cards with each other. Each person places their business cards on the table. How many cards will there be in total? Four, right? Because there's four people, so they're all four. That should be right. I'm sure it's wrong. Five lions, three cats, two pigeons. Total of five, three, two. It should be ten. Oh, ten head. Oh, shit. There's not pause on it, so no. Two wings, two wings. It's two wings. Easy. This is e This is so easy. The price of a pair of shoes has lowered by 25. No, it had. Not in Joe Biden's America. Let me tell you. By this percentage, should the shoes be increased to return to 90%? By what percent should the shoes be increased to return to 90% of their original price? No clue. Hey, let's keep going. Three four-legged chairs and five cats have a total of... So three four-legged chairs is 12 legs, and five cats times 20 so 12 plus 20 three four-legged chairs that's four legs per chair there's three chairs there's 12 there and then five cats cats have four legs cats don't have legs they have paws wait they have legs at the end of a party four people shake hands with each other how many hands oh shit okay there, i've seen this one before but i don't remember the uh if four people shake hands with each other then there should be there should be eight. I don't know, man. I just got back from school, man. I guess I'm submitted like a prostate exam. Okay, uh, let's go to the next one. I don't know. Six, tw oh, oh, I got this. 36. Easy. Boom. Uh, 25, right? Yeah. Boom. Uh, I got nothing. Bro, what is this? I'm literally guessing. I have no idea. Bro, let me do the Q math. No, I'm not letting you do the math questions. There's 50 seconds per question. That being said, I have no goddamn clue what you're asking me. Spear, spot, spat, spat, spat. Spatial. Let's go. I don't know. I don't know this shit. They don't teach this in school. Should be a circle. How are you this dumb? I'm not dumb, dude. You're acting like you know the answers to this shit. You don't know. You don't know what you're talking about. What shape comes next in the sequence below? Boom, boom, boom. Bottom corner. Uh, dude, it's the same thing. I don't, I guess the middle one. I don't know what this means. I can't get over those headphones. I know, right? They're so cool and they're not gay at all. So nobody in the comment section has to say anything about gay and nobody in Twitch chat has to say anything about gay either. Anyways, let's continue. I'm not making a clip of me saying, ooh, ooh, man. I'm trying to lock in on the test, dude. Like, <laughs> come on. Bananas, apples, carrots, oranges. I don't know. Conductor is to orchestrate as violinist is to string i think it's called string do bananas even grow on trees don't clip that don't, don't clip that banana is to tree as fruit is to bush driver is to car is psych okay well this one's easy flower apple money money easy calf puppy kitten puppy mammal calf verbal reasoning's done all right boys we finished Pod, pod. We've completed the first test. Submit answers. God damn it. I knew I was gonna have to do this too. That is some mobile game marketing advertising right there. I did the entire test. This is stupid. This is stupid. Chivalry's dead. <laughs> I got a 72. Is that bad? I got a fucking zero on numerical reasoning. Am I comfortable and confident when given a presentation in class? I'd say I'm comfortable and confident whenever I- Is this a fucking BuzzFeed? No, it's not. It's just a BuzzFeed knockoff. Okay. During a school dance, you are- <sighs> Boys, let me tell you something about your boy. Back in seventh grade, there was a Valentine's Day dance at my school. And this was during the peak of the- the sturdy, uh, uh, 
Uh, this is during the peak of getting sturdy. There was a song that came on. I was right next to my friend, and I started to jokingly get a little bit sturdy. What can I, what can I say? They call, they call me Mr. Sturdy. They need to work on that name, though. That that was the day I didn't make that one. They call me that. So I started this dance circle completely just by doing a sturdy. Like, literally, I did this fake sturdy where I half-ass tried, and then people started surrounding me, and then people started surrounding them, and then about five minutes later, I was doing backflips in front of the entire school, and this is during Valentine's Day, so that's in, like, February. At, like, April and May, at the end of the school year, people were coming up to me and going, Bro, do the, the, you're the kid that was doing the sturdy in the, the, the dance circle. I would, I would consider myself the center of attention. On a date, oh... That fell off real quick. I've never been on one of these elusive dates before. So there's not much for me to say except for fighting for words. How good of a dancer are you? I rip up the goddamn dance floor, let me tell you. What do people say about how you dress? The little fit check, little fit check. Alright, I'll save that one for the 50k special. So I guess I dress like other people on a subway. Dude, I live in tech. This this, this one's shit. This is BuzzFeed quality, bro. I guess I'd sit far away from people. Or I guess I'd probably refuse to take the subway. What are my results? Oh, hell yeah! Hell yeah, that's the exact answer. And because this test said that I'm not awkward, that it means it's factually true and that I am not awkward and my camera's not tilted and I get along very well with people and women. <laughs> How often do you have trouble wrapping up and find- Wrapping up the final details of a project once the challenging parts have been done? That's easy. Actually, sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it's a little difficult for me. I don't know why. When you have a task that requires a lot of thought, how often do you avoid or delay getting started? Very often. Like, you know, this YouTube shit. All I have to do is put on Mario music and scream into a microphone and little children will click me, right? Pop. When it comes to, like, an actual brain task, like, if I had to take an important test at school, I just sit there for about 45 minutes before I start. Like, I do it as much as I possibly can. How often do you fidget or squirm with your hands or feet when you have to sit down? You see how I'm bouncing up and down right now? That's me, like, moving my legs and, like, doing this in my chair. Uh, very often. <laughs> how often are you distracted by activity or noises around you? Often. I can't read a book unless it's dead quiet. And, I mean, that's why I don't read, because reading's for fucking <laughs> losers, am I right? How often do you have difficulty unwinding and relaxing? Relaxing when you have time to yourself often. I'm constantly thinking about a million things at once I'm constantly thinking about the next thing that I could be doing or how I could be doing this Or what if I got up and did this and it'll just take a second It gets to a point where I just if it's like oh I want to go up and check something or I want to see this I just do it because if not I'm gonna sit in my bed for about 35 to 40 minutes before I even get a little bit tired It, it is a faster and more uh, efficient use of my time to go do that dumb thing that doesn't really matter than just forget about it When you're in a conversation, how often do you find yourself finishing the sentence? of people you are talking to before they can finish before they can finish them themselves. Glossing past that last sentence, I'd say rarely. I usually try to keep conversations going. Wait. How often do you have difficulty waiting your turn in situations when turn taking is required? I don't know. I cut the line, I guess. How often do you interrupt others when they are busy? I really try not to. I, I don't like being that annoying kid. Because the thing is, is I try to talk to as many YouTubers as I can about, you know, insight on the game and stuff like that. And I never want to come across as just an annoying little fidgety as fuck 14 year old with cat ears or something like I wouldn't want to come off as like that guy kind of loser or whatever so I'd like to say rarely but it again it depends on the person view test result let's go I prefer to do things on my own rather than with others. It depends on what I'm doing, I guess. I, I, oh, can't go back. All right, never mind. Find myself becoming strongly absorbed in something. Uh, yeah. There's a shelf behind me that way in some of my videos, and it's got like multiple thousands of dollars of games on it that I've never played that I bought because I've got obsessed with collecting them, and now I'm obsessed with YouTube, so I don't play the games. So I don't know why I'm saying this in case you know somebody were to like rob me. If I, if, there's a lot of money. It's just sitting on that shelf that I never did anything with. But I can't sell those games. And so I'd say that I find myself becoming obsessed with things very often. I prefer to read non-fiction books than fiction. All the fucking- You're an absolute nerd loser if you actually enjoy non-fiction over fiction. I find it upsetting if my daily routine gets upset or changed. I wouldn't put it like that, but- Hold up. Alright, <laughs> I wouldn't put it like that, but I like to do specific things every day, so I'd say slightly agree. I like collecting information. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Uh, kind of my thing. They call me the, the walking dictionary, the, the walking encyclopedia.
Yep. I'll, I'll repronounce that one. Give me a second. They call me the walking encyclopedia. There, got it on the second one. People close to me say I talk about things repeatedly. Yeah, I talk in a circle and I talk about YouTube. That's about it. So yeah, definitely agree. I find it hard to work out what people's intentions are. The fuck does that even mean? I would find it really hard to play imaginary games with children. Yeah, because I didn't even know anybody who did that. I'm a good diplomat. No clue what that is. And I can help ease difficult social or work situations. I put slightly agree because i feel like i'm good at like in an angry situation like in a frustrating situation i'm good at making myself the butt of a joke or something and then having it change and not be as mad of a situation but like stressful or something i just kind of sit there often the last person to understand a joke yeah the first day of high school this kid said to another kid he's like he referred to some like a dick as a frank and i said what's a frank and then everybody looked and laughed at me and then after that i was like oh i have some very strong interest in getting upset if i can't pursue them one hundred percent. If I couldn't be a YouTuber, I'd kill myself. So I can tell if someone I'm talking to is getting bored. What the fuck does that even mean? No. Not ID. Gender, male. I'm a man. I'm a he. Orientation, strictly homosexual. I said the wrong word. I meant to say heterosexual, not homosexual. I like to be dominated, especially in the bedroom. Absolutely disagree with that one. I like receiving pain during sex and seeing the results of it. Marks, bruises, makeup, running by tears, etc. Um... No, I can't say I like to borderline torture people. I'd like to have sex with multiple people to disagree. I like being totally helpless and at my partner's disposal physically unable to resist what they do. Who made this, bro? No. I have a thing for large age diff- I find the more romantic aspects in relationships are important than the sexual and kinky aspects. Yes! Finally! That's the first agree that I have given. Being part of a group of slate. Nope. If I could make some money from selling- Nope. You know exactly where that was going. Not a chance. I like the idea of being tortured. If a new awesome kink or BDSM project was launched, I would love to keep up to date. Personally, I stay up to date and active in all the BDSM Discord servers and Reddit subreddits 93 percent vanilla which is like also my 23andme results and then the rest of it's zero so where'd the three percent go